more mind game fragrance samples courtesy of Semper. So just when I thought the whole mind game thing was over with the collection that I've smelled in mind games, realizing they probably got like 10, 15 fragrances in the lineup, I asked for more. That mind game line has really gotten a beautiful amount of hype on social media, but I want to be able to experience it myself. I had a good first impressions, but it wasn't mind blowing. Mind games weren't mind blowing. Bars. Surface emoji. So let's see if we can finally find the hidden gem in the Mind Games lineup in these four fragrances. Let's roll map music so we can check out more Mind game scents so they can stop playing Mind Games. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Semper for sponsoring today's video and sending these fragrances as requested. So the four fragrances I'm gonna be doing first impressions on are the following. Viera Mind Game, Queening, The Forward, and French Defense, which I'm assuming they're all chess smooth. I don't play chess. I don't chill in the park talking to pigeons and feeding them, or I've never been to jail. Don't Google that. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> but I got the four samples here of the Mind Game fragrances, and we're gonna be checking them out first impression style together. So let's see which one we randomly pull. All right, so we got the ultra orangey tangerine style vibes and this one is going to be uh, Viera, Mind Games Viera. All right, let's see what this little sample is about. So the notes of Viera are citron, pepper, rose, incense, and musk. Let's go spray it right on the joint so I can give you a full look, presentation, a whole vibe and energy, and that shit looks kind of yellow. Not gonna front. Oh, it's a little bit too Neroli-ish for my liking. The white florals here, oh, it smells a little bit like baby ass. Oh my God. God, Becky, look at her butt. Yes, it does. That citrus is harsh in here. That citron, some reason, I don't know if it's the peony. Peony really have never given me that petty grain neroli vibe, but I'm getting a little bit of that ultra clean, citric sour, para mi bebe, royo violeta type scent profile. That baby cologne that most Caribbean families put on their infants starting from birth till 14. <laughs> giving me that kind of essence. It's a very strong citrus. It doesn't say it, but I'm getting white floral neroli type energy. Very clean, out of the shower, extremely wearable. There's a ton of people that like these bright white floral citrus fragrances that makes them feel nostalgic. Ultra clean, very sexy and bright for the summer. This joint definitely has that kind of energy, but for me, it's not a fragrance that sparks my interest. When it falls too much in this baby style cologne, I feel slightly childish, infantile, into wearing a diaper and even though I'm about 17 years away from wearing one naturally I don't want to start today what a joker <laughs> Is it clean? Is it good? Yes, yes. Very unisex, ultra clean, beautifully bright citrus, leans more towards warm weather, but my personal taste and style would not be Viera, in my opinion. Next one. All right, in this white decant, we have French Defense. French Defense from Mind Games. Let's see what's up with this puppy. Snap it right in. Mm, this could be pretty good. This is Cherry Geranium, Amber Cedarwood, and Rose Absolute. That sounds right up my alley. Do not disappoint me, French Defense. Whoa, excuse me? <laughs> Bad bitch alert? <laughs> Yo, I'd wear this all day. This is delicious. It's more dark, super dark, with an element of maraschino cherry, but the amber in here? What? This is Fuego Lost Cherry Who, Tom Ford? I shit on you, son, and you may like it. <laughs> oh, this is, there's a little bit of a cacao essence in this fragrance as well. There's light elements of brightness. The cherry is absolutely the shining star here, followed by the amber. They complement themselves gorgeously. That is delicious. You gotta like a little bit of a gourmand energy. You gotta like a little bit of that cherry-esque. I just ate a flan with the cherry, but I ate the cherry first. Forget your pina colada, you go for the cherry first. Every Everything is about popping that cherry first, pun intended. Wrong ho, fool. Ultra delicious. That is probably one of my favorite in the mind game lineup. So delicious. Wow, madly addictive. Yeah. Oh, French defense? Put that shit to the side. Next one. The next one in this pewter slash caca brown case. More like cement colored. It's cement. Queening, which sounds like a Netflix series at this point. So Queening has clean cotton apple, orris saffron, and whipped vanilla bean. Sounding good. Let's see what's up with Queening. Here's Johnny. 
shit, that is good. Oh, did they say caramel in here? Cause this screams caramel vibes. Caramelized sugar, sweet, slightly powder, very clean. That is sexy too. On the cleaner side, but still has a buttery vanillic essence. Mm, 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 mm. That's good too. That's very good. Complete polar opposite of French defense, more on the brighter, airier side, but yeah, this is a whole vibra. Ooh, bad bitch alert too. This has a little bit of a tropical vibe. We're talking about like a little pina colada essence in this piece. I know I was talking about like pina colada cherries and this has like this milky eh, Coco Lopez kind of coconut is creme. This is delicious. I mean, these just feel like they're leaning more towards like fire desserts. Very sexy. Oh, that's so good. Very good. Oh, queening. Put that one to the side also. And finally, in the turquoise, the forward. The forward. Don't let me down the forward because so far the first one was eh. Following two were bangers. So I hope you are Liddy 5 Titty too because this has lemon, pomelo, jasmine, sandbag, salt accord, and vanilla Madagascar. Hmm, interesting. Automatically something in my head springs like Zhirzhov type energy, but not one singular fragrance, just in my brain, that's what really popped off. This is something that Zhirzhov would do. A little bit of a Play-Doh vibe. I do get that saltiness. There's an aquatic saltiness, but almost too salty, but in a good way if that makes sense. Like put some sodium in my soul, Bobby. I wanna piss a kidney stone. That is very interesting. There's something very smooth and bath and body work kind of lotion-esque energy around this joint. Maybe a little Vicky Secret 5 for 20 lotions, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is good, bro. Wow, this is a whole vibe. Definitely unisex. The white florals in here actually play off very nicely with that saltiness of this fragrance. The pomelo here adds a nice ruby red grapefruit juice essence. There's an energy, there's a vibe here that's very white linen-ish, no socks, pants are cuffed ever so nicely, and then you're wearing a beautiful white linen t-shirt with your man tits hanging out like mine are. Well, can't you see that's the last act of a desperate man? Ooh. This is like cozy Netflix and chill. Let's cuddle next to each other, kind of just leaning in the summertime, letting that brisk air come in, turn off the AC, let's smell nature. I feel like this has been a better interpretation than the last Mind Games lineup that I smelled. This definitely had a whole vibe. So third place for me would be the forward. Second place though, that's gonna be a tough one. Oof. The queening, second place, a strong second, but the first, French defense, there's something uber sexual about this joint, and I just wanna put it in places that you're not supposed to put it. That's aggressive. I swear to God, that's what he told me. How many lines on that chocolate starfish? One, two. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Semper for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a links in the description for these fragrances. These are... Wow, now we're talking mind games. This is the hype. This is where the hype deserves to be in. I truly don't know if people were hyping these particular ones, but this is right up my alley. Those are good. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooch. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost that you would think that you would. <laughs>